Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Multiphase Flows in ComSol Multiphysics. In the previous video, we talked about Level Set Method. In Level Set Method, we have defined how exactly you distinguish two fluids, that is fluid 1 and fluid 2. Like this particular zone, it has fluid 1 and phi equal to 0. What is phi? Phi is the level set parameter that is uh, that is defined for tracking the interface and the interface is this because this is the fluid 1 and if you see this is the fluid 2 so the demarcation line between the fluid 1 and fluid 2 is nothing but the interface we have also defined the inlet outlet options and how to map those inlets and outlets with, with this level set that means you have inlet and outlet the same inlet and outlet you should also have in the level set physics so all those things have been discussed if you have not seen this video please go back and watch that particular video because it will be helpful in this particular video we will talk about few important things those are necessary if you are working with multi physics problem and those important things are discussed in a blog written by comsol itself so i thought it will be better if I just discuss the things right from the blog because no point of copying those things into a PPT and showing it because it will give you a direct impact if you can again go through this particular blog I will put the link in the description box so that you can have an access to it you can actually have a quick access because anyway you can search it and you can go through it so it basically talks about how exactly you can tackle two-phase flow problem what are the things you should be careful about like the first thing which i should mention is about mesh because once you define your geometry then the thing comes the then the thing of meshing comes and in meshing it is recommended that your solution will be more accurate if you have equal sized mesh so this is one of the criteria so you should look for such a mesh where the distribution is uniform even though it is not exactly uniform you should try to maintain as much uni uniformity as possible because if you see in this particular blog what they have written the mesh should be roughly equal mesh size throughout the modeling and the mesh elements should be isotropic that is the element should not be stretched or compressed in one direction so we should think about it we should look after it so this is the criterion to get a better solution and it is also talking about the mesh size what should be your maximum mesh size so Suppose you are working with a two-phase flow and in the two-phase flow, suppose just visualize you are working with oil and water flow and you will have tiny oil droplets that will be distributed in continuous water media. So it is telling you if you have a very small size droplet and the, if the size is X, then it is recommended you should choose the mesh at least X by 10 size. What it physically means? It means our importance is to look at the minimum size droplet accurately and in order to do that we should have minimum 10 meshes inside that smaller or the smallest droplet. So this is a rule of thumb and they have also mentioned it like if you see here they have written good rule of thumb is to begin with a global element size that is one tenth of the smallest expected droplet size and to refine the mesh from there so I mean this is the what I can say this is a kind of thumb rule and you if you maintain this thumb rule your simulation will be better now they have they also have defined a parameter H max that is used for the mesh size so this is the maximum value that is h max and then uh, this is all about meshing and then you should yeah 
there are two options this is discussing about label set and face fill both so in both the cases what we have we have fluid 1 and fluid 2 now in case of label set what we are discussing now so when using the label set so they have mentioned here when using the label set physics the label set model feature also defines the reinitialization parameter and there is another parameter which is parameter of controlling interface thickness so these two things are important so while you are working with level set there are two new things coming into picture one is your interface thickness and another is reinitialization parameter so we should know what are those things and how exactly to define these particular things so interface thickness is basically the demarcation line is not a 1D line it is basically a 2D that means it has certain thickness that is say delta H and this thickness will be equal to they have mentioned a good value is half of maximum element size so if you remember the maximum element size would be one tenth of the smaller droplet you need the smallest droplet which you need to look at and again it is telling that once you define this h max then your interface thickness should be a half of that h max so this is again another rule of thumb now so we are done with the thickness parameter that means interface thickness then there is another thing in level set that is reinitialization parameter. So what it is saying about reinitialization parameter when using level set physics interface, the level set feature also defines reinitialization parameter. If the reinitialization parameter is too small, it can lead to numerical instability. So what you should do, you should not take a very small value of reinitialization parameter. On the other hand, if it is too big, the interface movement is not captured correctly. So if you take a very large value, again you miss the information. So you should do some optimization, but here all the terms are qualitative, that big value, small value. So we should know something quantitatively and here they discuss about this quantitative information, a good estimate of reinitialization parameter is the maximum expected velocity magnitude. So we are dealing with a two phase flow. So in two phase we have fluid one and fluid two. So under the driving force or all the force field, we will have certain flow of these two fluids and this fluid will attain a maximum velocity and we have some, ex some information about it from the physical nature of the problem suppose you are working with a pressure driven flow you know about the pressure and at this particular pressure drop how much velocity is expected a rough idea you will always have and based on this rough idea you can actually put that particular magnitude even if you do not have any idea about velocity magnitude then what you can do put a random value of reinitialization parameter run your simulation, look for the maximum velocity, then again change the reinitialization parameter to that maximum velocity and then run your simulation again. So this is a kind of again a thumb rule. Now in phase field, we don't have reinitialization parameter. In phase field, we have a mobility tuning parameter. So when we make a video on phase field, we'll discuss about this mobility tuning parameter in more details. But today we discuss about how much value we should take for this mobility tuning parameter. So they have given a equa an equation for that which is equal to 2 into u max where u max is the maximum possible velocity. Square root of 2 and sigma. Sigma is the surface tension. We know the surface tension if you have, if you know the fluids, if you know fluid 1 and fluid 2. So basically uh, the sigma is the interfacial tension. And then H max, I have already talked about it. This H max will be one tenth of the smallest droplet size. 
and your epsilon and they have also mentioned this epsilon is the value of parameter controlling thickness so this epsilon is nothing but interface thickness and they have already mentioned that this interface thickness would be h max by 2 so you can plug in h max by 2 in this particular equation and if you replace epsilon by h max by 2 then the this equation becomes this 4 by 3 sqrt2 that is square root of 2 u max by sigma so you calculate this value put this particular value in your uh, interface uh, that is mobility tuning parameter and this will actually give you a better solution so what we have talked about so far we have talked about that uniformity of mesh so you can note down the things first thing is uniformity of mesh then <coughs> your thickness of the interface then either the reinitialization parameter if it is level set then the reinitialization parameter which will be equal to the maximum possible velocity and if it is a phase field then mobility tuning parameter and again the mobility tuning parameter is given by this particular formula so you have to calculate this and you have to put so if you maintain these things then your simulation will run appropriately and you will get a better solution or a physical solution so whenever we deal with this multiphase flow those things are very important if you don't maintain it then we get a kind of irregular solution so if you look at this particular solution in this case we did not maintain all those reinitialization parameter or this interface thickness parameter and that is why you see the simulation is not good because if you see this is the red phase this is the blue phase in between we have a kind of uh, irregular phase distribution and this is coming because of the mesh because of the parameters we have not taken accurate parameters so if I just show you yes somewhere it will be in the level set method yeah in the level set method you can see there are two parameters this is reinitialization parameter it is automatically taken as 1 meter per second but here our maximum velocity was not 1 meter per second it was maximum 0.01 so we should have given 0.01 similarly for this parameter the default setting is taken but exactly we should uh, we should make it uh, h max by 2 because this is interface thickness and which is equal to h max by 2 again in the meshing we should go for h max by 2 which we have not gone for so we have to change all these parameters and we have to run simulation and then it will give you some accurate or physical results but the first video was made just to show you the op options and this video is made to show you how exactly you can get accurate result physical results so i hope this video was helpful and we'll be again coming up with other videos on this multiphase flows meanwhile i request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you